Hello. I am doing my daily sketches. Today, the randomizer decided that we will be drawing lemurs. So I picked a few, I've drawn the ringtail lemurs quite a bit before, so I went ahead and picked some, um, I think these are called gray mouse lemurs. They're one of those larger uh, nocturnal kind of, you know, ones with these ginormous eyeballs. They're pretty cute, and I've never drawn them before, so I figured that would probably be a good change up from something that I am a little bit more familiar with. One of the other reasons that I picked them is that they have these very knobby little finger guys. Like their hands don't look like paws, they look much more like hands. Kind of too jumbled up in that mouth nose area. much better. Never really very confident about eyes and these eyes are huge enormous and very shiny. So we might try to do these and leave just some like little highlight areas maybe. Kind of shade them in a little bit and see what that looks like. It's not terrible. They're so fluffy and they're so cute. The arm goes down across here. He's on this big branch. Kind of comes down underneath his body. Down this way somewhere. See if we can get the rest of him kind of blocked in here. This little back leg. And then he has little feet hands too. There's those, and then his elbow comes all the way down here. His little forearms. And then this hand, which is why I picked this picture, has these really cool pose where there's just these really long fingers and because I'm trying to learn how to draw humans I figured a good compromise would be an animal that has uh, some human-like features I mean it never hurts to draw anything Everything will help you learn more about everything, honestly. Shapes and things if you can just kind of build your own brain library. Which I'm sure there's probably a better name than brain library. This little tail curls down to this nice big floofy, floofy tail. Let's get some more detail on this back leg. I 
I love these little, because they have, because they're tree dwellers, spend most of their time in trees, they have these little circly nub grip things. It's like an extra large surface area so that they can grip more or better, I suppose. But they're so cute. They just remind me of like E.T. or you know, things and they just, just really cute little alien looking things. It's fun too to draw random critters instead of just like, oh, cats and dogs, because a lot of times you'll stumble upon something that you're like, oh, I bet this was uh, an inspiration for this movie. Like E.T. has these little finger nub things. Next here. Let's see what else is important in this. So elbow, so round. Stomach kind of disappears there. This part of his body and then his tail. There's like individual, probably thousands of individual little pieces of fur just everywhere on this guy. Everywhere. Almost look like little, like he went to an acu acupuncturist or something. I think too that those are actually functional in that uh, they help he can like feel, like if the wind goes by or something, he can kind of give some a heads up to whatever's there, whatever's nearby. I think we can call that done though.